Hey everybody, it's Dave and I'm coming to you in case you haven't guessed from the Fire Island House in the summer of 2021. This is the very first time that I'm ever going to do a video presentation prior to a group coming out to this house. And by the end of the video, I hope you give me a few minutes, you'll understand why. Real quick, just go through a couple of points. Stay with me, guys. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for your support. We made it through COVID. This is one of my favorite activities, and I hope for those of you who are coming out for the first time that this will be the first of many times that you come back to this very special place. The one thing that I want to talk to you about most seriously about, though, is we have gone through an amazing transition this past year with COVID as far as being a New York social networking group. And with the transitions that are happening now with the vaccines and the mass policies and all that, just hear me out for a second. 98% of you who are coming out to the house are going to be vaccinated. However, there are a few of the guests that are coming that are unvaccinated. And I want you to know that after speaking with many people in our group and running several events over the past couple of months and trying to deal with the masks and the vaccine policy, this is the way that we're gonna do this. If you're in the house and you are unvaccinated, I would appreciate that you wear your mask when you're in close quarters with other people. I believe that also goes for being outside for group events. If you are unvaccinated and in a group in close community with other people, please respect the guidelines that are in place. I know you're at the beach, you want to breathe fresh air, but you can social distance and you can still be part of the group and part of the conversations if you don't have the vaccination. For those who have been vaccinated, and this is the most important thing, for those who have been vaccinated and you have a guest or a house member or a friend that has not been vaccinated, I would appreciate that you don't press that person why. There are many different reasons why people can't get the vaccine, why they don't get the vaccine that go way beyond politics. And I have found that it has, has caused some very awkward and unpleasant even fights and situations that we've had with New York Social Network and the participants. So I would ask that if a person is unvaccinated, please respect the fact that they are unvaccinated and the reasons why. If you have any issues with that, I would like you to contact me directly, but uh, hopefully everybody will get through. We've already had two groups out here and things worked out fine. As far as masks go on the island, it's pretty much the same thing. If you've had the vaccination, you don't need to wear a mask anywhere. It's optional if you want to. If you have not been vaccinated, they do ask you to wear a mask while you are in close contact with other people, whether it be in a restaurant or a store. So that's pretty much it. The other thing is just a couple of things about the house. Now we've been doing this house for eight years and over the eight years, uh, there have been some characters that we definitely had to deal with and some people who just don't really take on what I think is um, the role that we need to make the house um, work for everybody. And hopefully by you listening to this video, uh, it will make everything work even more perfectly this year. So this is a share house. It's not the Hilton, it's not a five-star hotel, and we don't have maid service to come in and clean up and make your bed every morning. I don't mean to make that sound the way it just came out, but it's a share house, it's a beach house. Um, we're dealing with towels, we're dealing with sand, we're dealing with the weather and all kinds of stuff and, and sharing rooms. So what I ask you to do is in any of the areas, in the bathrooms, in the kitchen, in the community areas, if you have left a trace of what you did, I would appreciate it if you clean up. In the bathroom, if you take a shower in the inside bathroom, which I don't know why anybody would because the outdoor bathroom is amazing, the outdoor shower, I'm sorry, but Clean the sand out of the tub after you're done. Don't leave wet towels hanging everywhere. If the, if the bath mat is disgusting, then put it in the, the laundry on the back deck uh, so that we can, we can wash it. Um, if you sprinkle when you tinkle, please be neat and wipe the seat. Guys, there are very few men participating in the actual um, weeks that we have and weekends that we have. So guys, remember, can you put the seat down when you're done with it? And if you get anything on the seat, please wipe it off. If you wash, brush your teeth and the toothpaste goes all over the faucet or the mirror, please wipe that off. If the toilet paper runs out, please don't let it sit there. Just go underneath the sink and get a new roll of toilet paper and replace it. 
the more that we all participate in the house together, the better it is going to be for everybody else. If you cook, please clean the stove. Please wash the pans. Please wash your dishes um, and put them in. That's Kai, by the way. Say hi, Kai. Kai just got out of his nap. Um, uh, put the dishes, clean the dishes. Don't leave dirty dishes laying around. Uh, Half-filled glasses and things like that. Wine glasses. I know there's going to be a lot of alcohol consumed during the time that people are here. And you forget where you put your wine glass. Just be mindful of what you leave around and try and clean up after yourself as best as you can. The other thing is if you use the bikes, if you haven't been on a bike in a long time, don't plan on going on a huge trip. Don't ride them through the sand. For God's sakes, they will break right away. But if you haven't been on a bike in a long time, these bikes are not like in the best shape in the world. Make sure that you ride them up and down the sidewalk in front of the house to test it out and make sure that you feel confident before you go out to the narrow paths that are on the island and you run over some kids or, or, or old ladies or something like that. Um, every year we always put together a list of activities for people to do. Uh, this year we're going to do it a little bit different. Um, I have, will pre-send, if you haven't gotten it already, uh, different things that you can explore on the island. Some of you have already done it. Some of you have never done it before. But trying to put a, a rigid schedule together for people to go and do these activities has always not worked out so well. It's more um, successful if it just happens um, spontaneously or, or from the house itself. So if you're going to go to the sunken forest, if you're going to go to the lighthouse, if you're going to go to the pines or to uh, Cherry Grove, if you're going to go to Ocean Beach or other restaurants or other areas of the island, just mention it to the group while you're all together. If you want to do a group dinner, make that happen as something that happens uh, naturally instead of something that we try and force so that everybody feels like they have to do all those things together. Your house hosts uh, are Caitlin, Stephanie, and Danielle, uh, myself included. The house hosts, by the way, and I just want to let you know, they are there to be our eyes and ears of the New York Social Network and the owner of the house. So this house is owned by somebody else. We've been lucky enough to rent it for the last eight years. More times out of not, and I hate to say it, there's always two, three, four hundred dollars worth of damage that gets done that people don't tell us about. And when we go to check out of the house at the end of the month, I wind up having to pay money out of the security deposit. So please respect the house. It is somebody else's house, and I'm the one that has to pay for it if something breaks. If you break something, let me know about it so we can try and fix it uh, or bring it to the attention of the owner. I would appreciate it. The house hosts are not here to pick up your towels, to clean the bathrooms, to scrub the toilets, to, um, to uh, cook food for you, to go on errands for you. They are here to keep an eye on the house to make sure everything is running smoothly and people are safe and that they're happy. So um, please uh, treat your house hosts with love and affection and, um, and everybody just join in. And the more people participate together, the better the week is going to be for everybody or the weekend. And if you have any questions or concerns, see your house host or reach out to me while you're here. I hope you have a great time. This is a magical place. It's great to see you all participating again. And uh, I hope to see you all sometime soon during the course of, course of summer 2021 or beyond. So cheers to you guys. Take care.